and it's ready to eat. Here we go. Every 17 years, uh, a type of cicada known as Brood X comes out of the ground around Washington and other places and uh, they come out in their trillions and they're everywhere. So uh, I'm collecting a few, uh, which we're going to cook later. Uh, there's a guy here who I'm going to pick up. There we go. Uh... So I collected these guys from around the neighborhood. Uh, Oh God, they look horrible. People say they taste quite good, like um, buttery or nutty or something. Uh, personally, I'm not so sure, but it's once every 17 years that they come out, so um, I'm gonna give them a try. I'm told the humane way to do this is to put them in the fridge for a few hours uh, so that they go to sleep. Um, so I'm gonna do that. In they go, next to the HP sauce. And, uh, We'll get back to them later. So uh, the uh, cicadas have been de-winged and de-legged de uh, de and uh, I'm now sautéing them according to the recipe with some onion and a bit of garlic which uh, is supposed to help the flavor a bit. Um, they, uh, they still don't look very edible to me. Hmm. So this recipe comes from uh, a restaurant, a very high class restaurant, which is serving cicada tacos, but only once a week. It's only open once a week. Um, so I decided to make them at home and uh, they seem pretty simple. Uh, the restaurant's had rave reviews says it's doing a roaring business, so we'll see. Let's fill this up with some, some mashed avocado, some fried onions that we cooked them in earlier. These guys are ready to eat. Let's put them in. There we go, About half a dozen of those. And you top it off with some radish. A squeeze of lime. There we go. And it's ready to eat. Here we go. Mmm, I can't taste a bit nutty. It's a bit nutty. Perfectly acceptable food. I probably wouldn't eat it all the time, but once every 17 years, it's worth a try. Mm. Cheers.